I like the transformation I got. A bigger sword, a bigger cannon, but most of all, wings. I definitely, definitely love that look. Stick it in neutral, Megatron. I've got guns. I've got really big guns. Not just my guns, but I also have my blades. So beware, Decepticons. I'm ready to kick some tail. Tail, not. Well, I have not just one gun, but I got two as well for my hands. The differentials from the leader class is simple. I'll have a little dangling arm on my left side, but my gun can cause some transform to a sword. So Doesn't matter how powerful you are, Megatron. I still hold the power of the Matrix of Leadership, and as long as I possess that power, no Decepticon will ever rule the universe. You sure about that, Prime? After I luckily won in the fourth fight, you're I, a junkyard reject. I swear, I will kick the living crap out of you. Junkyard crap. Keep talking, Brian. I shall rule the force and the universe after I get done with you. Lest you forget, I kicked your ass all around the forest, Megatron. If it hadn't been for your Decepta bitches, I would have finished you then. Autobots, come! I shall destroy you where you stand, and I swear by all primers, I will destroy you. I will kill it all much. But then let's get it on, Megatron. One shall stand. One, one shall, shall fall. fall. And I promise you, I'll wake your little nail tailpipe like the first movie did, and I will lubricate all over your sissy slagging. Thanks. Just remember, Megatron, at the end of this battle, I will rise, you will fall. You tell that to your mother? Okay, guys, we wrap it up big, and not mean big. You just heard our voice work, and by all means, we got in robot mode. One word come to mind when we saw this. Damn! I mean, Jay, tell me, how do you like them in Voyager robot mode? Dude, I really, really like both of them in Voyager class mode. Now, when the leader classes came out, I was really, really impressed. Like I said, I hadn't seen the movie yet, so I was a little bit more impressed originally with the leader class version of Megatron until after I saw the movie. Now that we've opened up the Voyager packs, man, I'm really, really digging this Megatron, <laughs> especially the idea that you can fold his wings behind him so that he doesn't have the wings sticking up. But for this particular display, I think the Megatron looks more menacing when you pose the wings up. That was totally cool. Now, I mean, but still, this Megatron made the Lear class look stupid. I like the reverse joint legs. I like the poseability of both of his arms and the sword weapon. It's really, really cool. Now, that's a menacing Megatron that I really dug the most. But earlier in our earlier review, the color scheme made more like, this is not Megatron, more like, um, you know, Corona doo-doo crap. Well, I mean, I still am not really that big of a fan of this color scheme. It does look, however, nice on this figure. And again, had I not seen the movie to know the difference in the color accuracy, it wouldn't have mattered because this is a brilliant sculpt. The posability is nice, as you see it displays real nice. But, before I continue on with Megatron, I gotta talk about Prime. Almost oh, definitely. Now, you saw Leader Class in our, in our previous re Legendary Review. This one made the Leader Class, let's say, gotta take note. And still, the body made, let's say, Little Burr, Big Burr look so dope. Well, I mean, again, you have three different leader class versions. You have the one that comes with the double swords. You have the one that comes with the double hooks that has the battle damage with no mask. And, of course, and the Buster Prime. Now, this one right here, don't care that it doesn't have the hooks. I do like the fact that he has the blades like the original um, leader class one. And I like the idea that he has the hand cannon 
like the Buster. The difference between him and the Buster is he comes with two hand cannons and the Buster comes with one to my understanding. Yep. Which is really, really, really nice. Now, Jay, for over a year, these two have made my eyes well up. And these here have been top of our list of this year for favorite Transformer toys of the year. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. This is definitely, when I look at this Prime, uh, despite him being a little bit smaller in stature, he is pretty much spot on to the uh, leader class variant. And I really, really like the way they did the detail of this figure. I mean, the color scheme, when you add the uh, tannish brown or whatever hinge joints that they added, I would have preferred if those were gray and or if they did those in like a satin silver or something like that. Exactly. But nonetheless, it doesn't take away from this figure. Exactly. Now, again, as a whole itself, Jay, these two were made for perfection. And to, and to my knowledge, these two made the class look real, real stupid. Well, like I said, both of them indicate also that... Um, they have cues within them that are better than the leader class. Like, for instance, when you look at Prime and his legs and where the uh, tires sit on his legs, they sit on his thighs like they're supposed to. Whereas the leader class, when he's got one on his thigh, one on his hip, and it doesn't quite let all the way down. And again, going back to the Megatron, just having the accurate color scheme as well as his bladed arm looking more movie accurate and his smaller arm still having the cannon in it. I think that was pretty cool. One question, Jay. You say that he had the major leadership, right? Word. Why don't you, we gonna pause for a second and we gonna split that open and let you see what it's looking like. Oh, yeah. Now, guys, you got the touch? Jay, how you like the major leadership? I'm digging this Matrix of Leadership. There are very few incarnations of Prime that actually do come with the Matrix, so I'm impressed that this one does come with one, particularly being the movie Matrix of Leadership. It looks very nice sitting up in his chest. That's pretty tight, dude. Most definitely. I mean, you, I mean, we, we do justice. This blows it out of the water. And again, as a whole, the, the whole class, the whole, um, phew, Roger class has outdone the leader class by a large, huge margin. Yeah, they've definitely outdone themselves. Like I said, I was pretty impressed with the leader class figures, both for their size and movie accuracy, uh, particularly, the, like I said, the Prime more so than the Megatron, but the detail on those figures were nice. But these, to me, I have to agree with you, are more impressive than the leader class uh, variants. So, again, do we start with Megan? Voyager class out this time? Absolutely. And as for Megatron, the same. Absolutely. Again, it just that in my opinion, treat yourself right. For twenty bucks. Those who don't have the time or money to get the Buster Prime or the Hooks Prime, this Prime made them look stupid. Because again, Fido was not fine. Optimus Prime was hard as hell to find. Again, he was good. But again, he returned with more better look. But as for Megatron, I mean, when you, when like I said, when you look at these figures, the figures are iconic themselves. The molds and sculpts are incredible. The posability and display options are phenomenal. And I truly, truly can't say enough about them. Whether it's the Prime coming with both hand cannons and the swords, Megatron sword are being more movie accurate, and or just the options of being able to display them in so many different ways. They're truly, truly incredible. As a collector, you have to put these in your set. And as B mentioned, from an economical standpoint, you could pick up the two of these for the price of a leader class, particularly when you think about the Buster. So keep that in mind when you go shopping. But in, in closing, one thing for sure, these two have been going around doing this dance for a long, long time. And still, when, it, when I see these two, it reminds us to, to this day, the 1986 movie, and, and to this day, make us want to know what it is to be a hero and a villain. One stand at the end of the movie, heavily wounded, while the other fall hard to the ground, and not even moving for one instant. Because, again, Prime 
no matter how many times Prime died and returned, he know what it takes to be a leader and a hero. As for Megatron, there'll always be a villain. There'll always be a, a coward, but also know what it takes to be a villain. This is how you end the year, guys. Snatch him up while you can before the year comes to an end. You will not be disappointed either way. But the next video, it's high time that me and Jay have a lot to discuss in the first vlog of 2011. For Cousin Jay Jero, this is Big B. This is the end of the 29th final review of 2010. Y'all ain't got to go home, but we getting the H-E double hockey sticks out of here. Peace out, people. Before we say peace, Happy New Year, and see you in 2011. Word.